In this video, I'm going to briefly go over some of the possible functions within the VSYS token feature. The token economy within the blockchain will enable much more efficient exchange of goods or services. This will effectively promote the growth of small, like-minded communities. Customizable tokens will enable a token economy in which users distribute tokens and its applications and goals can be specified. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the possible functions. The first thing we're going to do is go to our vSystems wallet. Then we can begin to look at the Assets tab. In order to register a token, we click on the Create Token button like so. The next step is to enter a description for the contract containing the token and the description of the token itself. The distinction between the contract and the token is that a contract ID serves as an address that can transfer and store tokens, while the token is simply a token. Then we can decide the maximum number of tokens that can ever be in circulation. I'm going to put 1 million. The unity amount decides how many parts a token can be split into. A little bit like how the US dollar can be split into 100 cents. If we have it as 10 to the power of 8, it means each token can be split into 100 million parts. Now that all our parameters are decided, press continue to create our first token. Once the transaction has been confirmed, we should see that the token is on our token watch list. And since we are the maker of the token, we should have permission to issue it. Let's issue 1000 tokens to ourselves. Press the button here and press issue token. And enter 1000. Once again, once the transaction has been confirmed, we can see that we now have 1000 tokens. Now that we have some tokens, let's try and send some to another address. I'm going to go here to copy down an address of this wallet. To send some tokens, simply press the send button here. Enter the recipient's address and the amount of tokens you would like to send. Press continue. Once the transaction has uh, been confirmed, you can see that token balance has gone down in this address and the token balance has gone up in this address. If we later decide that we have issued too many tokens for ourselves and would like to reduce the amount of tokens in circulation, we can simply press destroy token here. Enter the amount we would like to destroy and press continue. Once again, once the transaction has been confirmed, our token balance should have gone down. The last option here says remove token. This option simply removes the token from the token watch list of your wallet. It does not actually remove any tokens that belongs to your account. I'm going to copy the token ID down before I remove the token from the watch list. And now I'm going to remove the token. It's OK. If at any point I decide this token is worth following again, I can press the Add Token button down here. Enter the token ID of the token. Press Add. And as we can see, um, the token is returned to my watch list. And the token balance remains the same. Thanks for watching, I hope I helped you get to know more about the token feature in VSYS.